Hello beautiful Virgo, how are you friggin' doing, my fellow Virgos? I'm gonna jump straight into this reading. It's a how you see each other spread, my darlings, all right? Please remember to give me a thumbs up if it resonates with you in any way. Picks up on two energies, three questions. How you're viewing each other, what you want from each other, and where you believe it's going. I've got a couple clarifications there, um, but we'll, let's get into it. Uh, Major Arcana, Leo. Some of you may be dealing with a Leo or someone that has Leo in their chart. I'm going to try and keep it as general as possible. It doesn't have to be a Leo. We've got Earth energy here. We've got all... Yeah, we've got all elements, I believe, except the swords. So how someone's being viewed here, this is, could be how you're being viewed or how you view your person. The strength card is very loving, very compassionate. Somebody that's... Uh, they, they're very courageous. They may have gone through a lot as well someone that has an inner beast as you see here in the illustration as well could be that someone that's someone's being someone here is very graceful but at the same time there's that fire that inner fire right <laughs> which is uh it's nice you know if someone's being somebody with this card it, it's a beautiful thing it, it talks about strength courage um joy compassion you know having courage and confident confidence in, in in a lot of things in life moving on um to the next energy right the hanged man so this could be how you're viewing somebody again or how you're being viewed okay this is somebody that's very perhaps spiritual someone could be viewing somebody here as a new thing, because the, the, the hanged man talks about embracing the new. So there is something new here. This is about realigning, realigning your heart. So I feel like someone's viewing somebody here as very cosmic, very embraceful. Like there's, there's something embracing here. Look how she's very free, the way she's hanging. This is also enlightenment, you know. So someone's viewing somebody here as, as very enriching, I would have thought, in a sense, all right? Someone that's different. Someone that you may, may, maybe is not part of your usual person that you go for as well is what I'm picking up on. Let's move on to the wanting, okay? Two of Pentacles, first energy. Someone is definitely wanting balance here. They're wanting harmony. They're not wanting to maybe act hasty. It, definitely an equilibrium, a balance here. And it could be juggling obligations, you know, having a balance with the personal life as well as the the career, the business life, right? But it's definitely about balance, balance in all aspects of oneself, which is a really nice thing. And then we've got the page of wands down there for the next energy and what that person's wanting is excitement. It's that fuck it, go for it energy. Let's do this. Let's fling it into the universe. Let's see where this goes. Let's see where it takes us. Definitely that... Um, type of energy you can see it there in the illustration this is excitement this is adventure this is going out having fun times making fun memories enjoying life for what it is it's, it's that youthful spark all right this is quite young energy regardless of age but it is very youthful energy you see the jeans and the trainers and the little the little bomber jacket or leather jacket, you know, it's it's lovely. Let's go on to where they believe it's going. Ten of Pentacles. This is a beautiful energy, okay? It talks about stability in the home, in life. This talks about long term. It talks about the future. Look at the the beautiful picture there. We have man's best friend. We have mother and parent. We have children laughing, dancing. This is also generational. You know, it's there's no grandparents in this deck, but stability. Someone believes that this is this is what the future holds. It's almost like this person's walking into it. You know, the next energy. The Eight of Cups was the card that I had to get clarification on because the Eight of Cups talks about letting go, and I do feel like one person here out of the two energies someone is letting go of something here 
releasing stuff which no longer serves them um you know so someone believes they're going to be letting go of something maybe letting go of an old way of thinking an old way of living and just letting it flow maybe someone believes that they're going to be abandoned as well because this can talk about abandonship you know, maybe someone believes that someone's going to leave them, right? That could be us because we get into our negative states. I, all these cards came up for clarification. It's quite funny. We had the Eight of Cups come out again. The Queen of Water. You know, this, this beautiful, loving understanding. So whether it's you or your person, you know, accept love for what it is. The Chariot card there. A Cancer energy. Then we had the magician and the high priestess. This is ideas. This is new beginnings. This is magical. This is manifesting new. So I reckon a lot of you, this is new. Um, but taking control, taking power, walking into love, walking into something magical and powerful. Some of you may be dealing with interracial couples, you know. Right, what am I going to do now? This was also at the bottom of the deck, the foundation, right? Determination, moving forward. You know, it looks very beautiful, both energies and what they're wanting and where they believe it's going. Right, is there any messages for Virgos before we go? Oh, two cards. Notice the signs. Yes, the signs you've been receiving are heaven sent. Angels drop feathers, coins and other signs upon your path to remind you that you're loved and never alone. Which is really nice. Go for it. And innocent. Your prayers and positive expectations have been heard and answered, Virgo. We've been working with you on this situation since its genesis. And we continue to watch over you and everyone involved. Stay on your present path as it will take you very far indeed. Beloved one, everyone is guiltless in truth. And no one can alter God's handiwork of perfection. Give us your feelings of heaviness so we can lighten your load. Give us any guilt, anger or blame that may shroud your loving outlook. Enjoy the peace within your heart once more. It's, just, it's, it's lovely. It's lovely to see. I think I want to get you a crystal card as well. But yeah, to summarise, you know, someone is definitely viewing someone here as cosmic someone's doing somebody here is very compassionate you know um someone's wanting harmony they're wanting to have a balance on their life they're wanting to have all aspects of their life looked at and dealt with and this one is definitely wanting that youthful that go for it that not there's no worry here you know and then where you want it where you both believe it's going there's stability here there's a long term this is walking into something new something fresh something magical right um angels have left you signs they continue to leave you signs that you are on the right path right is there a crystal card for virgo Are you having a change of heart? Do you find that you are having a hard time changing the way you look at love and friendships? The only constant in life is change. Take the time to adjust and nurture yourself as change takes place. Honour and accept change. Have you been spending time in nature? How does your garden grow? <laughs> Whether you live in a small city apartment or an expensive farm, no, expansive farm, you can always find a way to establish your roots in the earth and nature. Use the negative ions of the mountain, sea and air for your overall well-being. So get out more Virgos. Take off your shoes if there's any grass around you. Um, I think it's called copper squat. Go and hug a tree. I'm, I'm, I definitely want to go swimming because I really enjoy swimming. It's so good for my soul. And, and and yeah, please remember to give me a thumbs up if this reading resonated with you in any way. You know it's our love, baby, baby. And I'll catch you on the rebound. Mwah.